For reading today, we will be doing a poem called Earth Is My Home by Eric Ode. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the earth before we start. The earth is the planet where we live. Um, the earth is where we have soil and trees and animals and water, rivers, lakes, and oceans. And um, all the things that are found in nature are on the earth. Now, I, like I mentioned before, this is a poem. And when we're talking about poetry, there are some things that are common with poems, such as sentences can be broken into different lines. And each part's given that line of its own, just like we see here at the very beginning. It's not the end of a sentence because that's a comma. The end of the sentence comes at the second line. So sometimes sentences are broken in to different lines. Words often rhyme in poems, and sometimes words are repeated in poems. The essential question that you need to think about um, as we're reading is, what resources from earth do we use? Now, the things that occur naturally on the earth are our resources. What kind of resources from the earth do we use? We are going to use the comprehension strategy today, visualizing. And when you are visualizing, it helps you create a mental picture in your brain. And you can imagine how something looks and it feels, it smells, it sounds, how it tastes. Using your five senses, you can visualize better. So let's go ahead and read, Earth is my home. Every river, every sea, every flower, every tree. Now, after reading this line, I'm thinking about trees and I'm thinking about flowers out of the park nearby. I think about big, tall, leafy trees. And when I stop and picture the trees in my mind, I can also hear like a soft rustle of the leaves as the wind blows or maybe a little bird sitting up in that tree too. And if I think about the other, my other senses, I might imagine that they feel rough. The bark of the tree feels rough and the soft smell of flowers that are near the trees, or the coolness of the shade that the tree provides from the sun. So those are some things that I can visualize when I'm thinking about trees. Earth is my home, every falling drop of rain, every flowing field of grain, earth is my home. Every little thing I choose, everything I need and use, all I see and hold so dear, comes from here, comes from here, earth is my home. Now I wanted to um, draw your attention to the pictures that are at the top of the page. And sometimes an author will choose not to use a drawing, but to use an actual picture. And these are actual photographs, not drawings. Now, we talked before about the elements of poetry. Did you hear rhyming words in this poem? Yes, sea, tree, rain, grain, choose, use, deer, hear. This poem definitely has rhyming words. We already said that it's broken. Some of the sentences are broken into different lines. Did you hear any repetition in this poem? Did you hear, hear any words that repeat themselves? Yes, of course. And it says, earth is my home. Earth is my home. Earth is my home home. So this poem happens to have all of the elements of poetry that we're talking about. There is one word that I want to take a look at before you are done, and this is the word grain. This is our vocabulary word. A grain means the seed of a plant, and sometimes we use those seeds for cereal or flour, wheat, corn, rice, rice and oats. So let's take a look. The seed of plants that are used for cereal or flour, wheat, corn, rice, or oats. I love So again, grain is the seed of plants used for cereal or flour. Comes from wheat, corn, rice, or oats. I will make sure that I include your discussion starters so that you can talk about the poem, Earth is my home with your big person.